I saw a poster and it was just her walking through a desert with her staff and BB-8. I was like, I don't know who she is. I don't know what she's doing. I don't know what movie she's from, but she looks awesome. So she's going to my bedroom door. And then I saw her in the commercials and I was like, oh, this girl is awesome. And so then I saw the movie and I was like, this is 10 times better than the poster and everything I thought before. So I just thought if I'm going to be someone, I'm going to be someone who's awesome, who can do action, who's empowered. And so I just pray. I'm 15. I go to Sebring High School. Uh, I love to sew. I bake. Uh, I do arts and crafts stuff all the time. I'm president of the writing club at our school. Uh, I play video games with all my friends. That's something I love to do also. And I love my dogs. What made you jump during the writing club? Uh, we didn't have one at the school and I really wanted one because I enjoy writing. I've written stories since I was little and I just wanted to do it for fun and they were like, you have to do a club. So I started one up. Okay. Um, what got you interested in doing cosplay? Um, it really was the Star Wars Force Awakens movie simply because I thought it was amazing and I don't think I'd ever been into characters any more than Star Wars and the visuals and graphics were amazing. I was just enthralled with it. I went to Sci-Fi Barto last year and it was small but it was a lot of fun because that was the first con I'd ever been to. It, they had a really cool panel discussion for Doctor Who and I really enjoyed it so this year I decided I wanted to go again and I was already doing the costume because I just decided I'm going to do this right now because I wanted to get on it. I was like super interested in it. So I said, oh, they're having a costume contest. Maybe I should go in costume. And so I got my, my friend and I decided to go together and cosplay and see if we could enter the contest. Yes, I did. I got a really cool trophy. Oh, yeah. I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting maybe to be like, yeah, good job. But no, I got first place. Marvel is a big influence because I started watching those last year and I got really into it, like reading the comics, reading the books, everything. Uh, Harry Potter has always been a big influence ever since I saw the movies and read the books. Uh, I guess just a lot of movies in general, like The Matrix and Pirates of the Caribbean, uh, superhero movie in general, that kind of stuff. They're all very inspiring to me and make me want to do costumes for them. Uh, right now I'm working on Kylo Ren. I'm almost done and uh, it's very pretentious, so I like that costume. <laughs> hey, what's your favorite Kylo moment? I guess I'd have to say when he has a, the temper tantrum after Rey escapes because him tearing up the wall was so emo and angsty and awesome. I really was like, man, I love this guy when that moment happened. Is that why I picked his costume? Uh, I think so. He has like an, um, I guess you see more of his emotions than most of the other characters in the film. So I really liked him. He's not afraid to show his emotion. He's not afraid to be angry and to take it out on something. And I thought that was pretty brave and pretty cool. Uh, what are you expecting going to MegaCon? Uh, I, if I enter a custom contest, if there is one, I don't really expect to win anything because they're probably going to have people that have a lot better costumes, but I'm expecting to have fun. So uh, my first impression was definitely that it was very busy and very exciting because there were people everywhere and they were all different themes. There was Star Wars, Star Trek, there were anime, sci-fi, everything. And I was really overwhelmed at first because I was like, wow, there's so many people dressed up and excited to be here, excited to cosplay, just like me. So it was, it was definitely very overwhelming but very exciting because there's so many different people to take pictures with. So um, I guess my favorite part of the con would definitely be seeing other people in costume because it's a small town where I live, so uh, I like seeing other people doing what I do, you know. How did you, I saw someone with like Koo and I was like, how did you make those, you know. I made mine with fabric and I want to see how he made his, uh, where he get his face paint and other, there's other things too, you know, like you see a Jedi with a lightsaber and it's 
like, oh, I've never seen that before. You build it, did you buy it? And it's really cool to figure out how other people made their costumes. Because I know how my mind, but I like to compare to how other people make them. You know, is it cheaper your way? Is your way better? Is it more durable? Would you recommend this to anyone? Oh, um, I would definitely recommend going to MegaCon. Maybe not on Saturday, because it's uh, crazy. But uh, uh, Thursday, Friday, and Sunday are better days. And they were a lot of fun to be here and to see all the different people. And there's different things on every day, so there's, it's always exciting. It's always fun to go out there. Was, uh, was Ray your first costume you did, or did you do anything before that? Uh, I've done a lot of costumes, actually. I, I didn't specifically cosplay, but I've had a lot of costumes. Like, ever since I was little, I sewed Halloween costumes with my mom. And so, I've done Raggedy Ann, I've done Storm the Fairy from a book I read, I did Harry Potter, I did a Black Widow Hawkeye one time, done some other costuming, just general. Well, when Brayton first started cosplaying, um, we really didn't have all the, you know, the costume. We just had a few pieces, you know, like a white shirt and a skirt. This year she took sewing in school and design mm -hmm. services. And I've been volunteering in the classroom every other day and helping the, the teacher. And it's really improved her... Um, her confidence and her abil and her abilities to know that she can sew it, she can read a pattern, she knows how to interpret it, knows what the steps are and how to follow them. I told you you have a blog. Yes. What do you do on your blog? Um, I generally I break down the costume into the different pieces that I'm going to have to either make or buy, and then I say if I'm going to use a pattern, what patterns did I use? How did I edit the patterns to work? Um, where I bought things, what kind of fabrics I used, and how it all came together to uh, have some pictures and stuff like that. Uh, I would love to do more cons, do more cosplaying. Uh, I haven't heard of very many in our area yet, but I do know that I want to go to Geeky Con this year, and that sounds pretty cool. <laughs> um, I'm Brighton. I'm 15. I go to Sebring High School. I love my dogs. <laughs>